Wonderful to be with you, doTERRA. My name is Russ Osgathorpe. I'm the Chief Medical Officer for doTERRA International, and I'm joined today by Tim Valentiner. Tim, good to be with you. Great to be here. Thanks so much. We're here because we are excited to discuss uh, a partnership that doTERRA has formed with RIFM. RIFM stands for the Research Institute for Fragrance Materials. When you came to me and talked with me about RIFM, I became pretty excited because the Research Institute uh, is doing cutting edge research on safety and efficacy of both fragrance materials and now essential oils. So they call them, as we've talked earlier, natural complex substances. Initially, RIFM has been focused almost entirely on looking at single molecules that make up a fragrance compound, and they do tons of research. Their scientists are world-renowned. They have an incredible scientific board that manages and chooses the scientific projects they're looking at. These folks have looked very carefully at individual molecules for safety. I think one other thing, too, that's been exciting and interesting about this is that historically, RIFM has been comprised of, um, you know, academics, scientists, um, that are on the board, but also there's a scientific advisory board for RIFM. But then the typical members of this are the producers that, mm -hmm. that produce essential oils, but also isolate different molecules, large fra flavor and fragrance houses that are developing, you know, very sophisticated synthetic molecules. But then also on the consumer end, large companies like L'Oreal, like Estee Lauder, Unilever, like Unilever, yeah. Procter & Gamble, um, these industry, these large industry companies that are some of the primary users of fragrance materials for all of their different products um, is the typical member um, of RIFM. But where we're different and where this actually required board uh, approval mm -hmm. on an exceptional basis, but we were very proud that it was actually uh, approved unanimously mm -hmm. to have doTERRA join as a, a member organization of RIFM as the only, the first and the only aromatherapy company that has been invited to participate in this. And it is because of our commitment, our pursuit of purity, of pure natural complex essential oils by themselves and using these in different applications as complex substances. But also what you and your team have just done an amazing job and, and the plan for moving forward of really helping to continue our pursuit of mm. scientific validation and, and evidence, but also research and peer-reviewed studies to, to document what people feel and, and understand and experience maybe anecdotally, but also through you know, cause and effect, but trying to now mm. really put some robust scientific research behind this and help doTERRA take essential oil understanding, safety and efficacy to the next level. And this is what RIFM was so excited about what we could bring to the table and what we in turn obviously are extremely excited to be able to partner with them. One of the things I'm also excited about is the scientists at RIFM will be collaborating with scientists at doTERRA to further our understanding of natural complex substances, i.e. essential oils. This collaboration will allow scientists that have spent most of their career looking at single molecules at RIFM to broaden their horizons as our scientists have a lot of experience looking at whole oils and it, as well for me, will allow our scientists to broaden their horizons, looking very carefully at how these individual molecules affect us. And the science, scientific methods used to study these essential oils will become now part of our repertoire, which will be very important to doTERRA moving forward. So Russ, maybe just as an example, um, what they are looking at typically is, say, the molecule 1,8-cineol. Yep. In isolation, they are doing safety research on that individual molecule, either naturally derived or synthetically derived. And then they base all of their research and studies and safety and understandings on that, ice, that molecule isolated by itself. But then you have to take that and trying to extrapolate, you know, all of the essential oils, natural complex substances, like say eucalyptus, for example, that contains a high level of 1,8-cineol, trying to say everything that happens to 1,8-cineol in isolation therefore must happen to all the oils that contain 1,8-cineol. And there, that, of course, is a, it, it's, too, it's too broad of a, an extrapolation. And they know that and we know that. And there's just been this vacuum of scientific data around substances like essential oils, which are natural substances, which are very complex in their chemistry. 
in that they have many compounds that are found within them that act together in the body to affect all sorts of systems. And, and this so, is something that we, doTERRA has been built upon this foundation, right? That, that essential oils as complex substances, natural complex substances, are amazing and their properties are incredible um, and, and surpass even these individual molecules in isolation. But trying to scientifically validate, document this through peer-reviewed studies and research takes a lot of time, a, a significant amount of resources and efforts, but everyone is invested and interest into understanding this better. Yeah, science is about collaboration. And in all honesty, the most exciting part of this partnership is our ability to further our understanding of essential oil efficacy and safety through partnership and collaboration with RIFM. It will be a wonderful partnership over the years that we look forward to fostering. Um, thanks, Tim, for discussing this with me. We look forward to seeing where this goes in the future.